بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والنجم إذا هوى ما ضل صاحبكم وما روى الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا وحبيبنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأزواجه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد Today we went through some ayat that I cannot overlook these ayat as the need of the time and the situation that we see within the ummah on understanding this message of Rabbul Alameen subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about the day of Qiyamah in these ayat. And he says, some people will come and according to their understanding they have done good deeds and not only a small number of good deeds they have done considerable amount of good deed that they feel that we should be doing okay But when they are presented to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they will see something totally different. They start seeing from Allah something they never expected. <coughs> they expected to do good with their judgment, with the good deeds that we have, and Allah is Rahim, Allah is merciful, so we should be okay. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, there will be a group of people, بَدَا لَهُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ مَا لَمْ يَكُونُوا يَحْتَسِبُونَ They would see from Allah Things that they never expected. They will see all the evils of their good, of, of, of all of their deeds. Which means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not letting any of their sins go. Who can make it then? They are going to be held accountable fully for whatever they have done, good or bad. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the hadith, Man nuqish al hisaba uddib. A person who will be questioned why he is going to be punished for sure. Man nuqish. Any person that will be questioned why. That's it. That's a sign that this person cannot make it. Aisha radiallahu anha said, Ya Rasulullah, doesn't Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talk about hisab in yaseera? That some people will have a very light judgment. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Thalik al that is only being called for the judgment. So Allah will call people, will show them. Do you recognize this? You see what you have done? You say, I admit, I also, Allah, I admit. Okay, just go. But if Allah will say, why? Done. There are some people about whom Allah says, for sure I'm going to question them. After knowing this, who would put him or herself in such a dangerous situation? It's not only taking a chance. 
is destroying your soul. This is destroying one's soul, like deciding for one's soul that I'm going to Jannah. That's it. Just like Shaitan decided. Shaitan. Even today, if he will do the sajda and apologize to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will be forgiven. But he know he, he doesn't want. He decided, I'm going to go to Jahannam. That's his decision. He wants to go. He's going to go. Why? Because he doesn't want to bend down. That's it. That's the only thing. Imagine that arrogance. He doesn't want to bend down for his Rabb. He recognizes everything. He knows my Rabb can forgive. And his door is open. But not only that I will go to Jahannam, I will take others with me too. Then he said to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, لَوْهُ يَنَّهُمْ أَجْمَعِينَ I will try to mislead all of them and take as many people as possible with me into Jahannam. Why don't you change and just go into Jannah yourself? No, I'm not going to bend down. That's an insult to me. I'm not going to accept that insult. Subhanallah. He's not accepting the insult. And in, as a result of that, he feels it's an insult to apologize to Rabbul Alameen subhanahu wa ta'ala and bend down before Rabbul Alameen subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as a result of that, he wants to, he loses the Jannah. He knows he's losing the Jannah as a result of that. He says, that's fine. He's going to go to Jahannam and remain in Jahannam forever. The worst humiliation. He says, yeah. But I'm not going to bend down. Can you see, can you see the, what this arrogance is doing. Now, so there are people, unfortunately, unfortunately, they get to that level. They get to that level. I'm not going to bend. I, their decision, that's fine if I go to Jahannam. Who are those people? وَبَدَا لَهُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ مَا لَمْ يَكُونُوا يَحْتَسِبُونَ they started seeing things from Allah they never expected. وَبَدَالَهُمْ سَيِّئَاتُ مَا كَسَبُوا They start seeing the evil result of their sins. Allah is not letting that go. He says, no, you have to be judged. You have to pay for it. Nothing is going to be let go today for you. What is the reason? وَحَاقَ بِهِمْ مَا كَانُوا بِهِ يَسْتَهْزِئُونَ and the thing that he used to, they used to mock of, make fun of, will surround them from every side. This is the main thing that put people in that situation that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us about. That when people make fun of deen or anything related to deen, Allah says, then there is no forgiveness. You go through the full judgment. Very dangerous to make fun of anything related to the, to the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sometimes we also take it very lightly and we make some jokes about deen that a person was taken to Jannah, Allah said this to him. This is, we're making Jokes about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa ayahs of Allah. Qul abillahi wa ayatihi wa rasulihi kuntum tastahzi'oon. Allah says in Quran, ask them, were you trying to make jokes and fun of Allah, his messenger, and of the verses of Allah? This is not something that we can make fun of and make jokes of these things. Someone went to Jahannam and he said this and he did this and angel said this to him. No, 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 no. These things are very dangerous. But this is sometimes people make a mistake to do these type of things. But on the other hand, there are so many situations where we see people openly making fun of things that are related to the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For example, when Ayazu Billah, sometimes you hear the statement, not only from those who deny the deen of Allah, those who even claim to be not just the followers, 
to be some kind of scholars. What Allah will get by keeping me hungry? This is the statement about the fast. Now, this is making fun of the fast. And these are, this is what exactly the ayah is talking about. Anything, remember, anything related to deen, regardless of what that thing may be. Qawm Thamud, we read about them. We read about them again and again in Quran. When were they destroyed? When were they punished? We know that they rejected Salih alayhi salatu wasalam. Punishment didn't come. They demanded a miracle. They were shown the miracle as per the demand. They did not accept. Punishment did not come. The Prophet of Allah, Salih alayhi salatu wasalam, said to them, فَقَالَ لَهُمْ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ نَاقَةَ الله. The messenger of Allah. Look at the words here. Very, very beautiful way of presenting the main facts that led to that situation of that the, the full nation's destruction. Who told them? Rasulullah. So one that is connected to Allah. This is the messenger of Allah. What did he say to them? Allah. This is the camel of Allah. Even the camel when it is attributed to Allah, don't do nothing to that camel now. Now, if you do anything to the camel, you will be punished because it's not just a camel, this is naqat Allah. I'm sure we can understand the difference here. You can kill millions of camels, but this is naqat Allah. This is the camel of Allah. Imagine, if a nation can be destroyed because of attacking the camel that was Naqatullah, what would be the result of those who make fun of Ayatullah, of Kitabullah, of Anbiyaullah, and also of Awliyaullah, of the people of Allah? Just like Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the hadith, which is in Sahih al-Bukhari, that Allah says, Hadith Qudusi, from Sahih al-Bukhari, Allah says, Man faqad bil A person who would have animosity against any of my friends, I, Allah, declare war against that person. We say, that's fine. We will keep on opposing and opposing opposing it. That's fine if he goes to Jannah. This is where the people are putting themselves in such a dangerous situation. Making fun of anything related to deen. It could be even the people. Not what who are awliyaullah. We say, okay, you know, I don't even accept anyone being awliyaullah. Okay. Someone is performing salah. Someone is calling adhan. Common situation. Unfortunately, unfortunately, within our societies. Very common situation. You have a wedding. You have a gathering. And someone gets up and calls Azan. Half of the people are making fun of him. Are laughing at him. What does he think? He thinks he's in the masjid. Or oh, he became mullah. He's calling Azan here. And especially if it is after Eid. Then he pray enough in Ramadan. All kind of statements that you would hear. It's all part of what this ayah is telling us. Things they used to make fun of will surround them from every corner, will not let them go. That adhan will surround you, that salah will surround you, that ibadah will surround you. Everything a person would make fun of related to deen is going to take the person until we'll throw him into Jahannam. Same thing with the sunnahs of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Whether we follow some or we don't follow. But making fun of the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is totally unacceptable. Same category. Making fun of the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is what? 
is making fun of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam himself. Say if you see Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam doing miswak. Someone is standing there watching him doing miswak and he makes fun of him. It's the same thing whether it was a person at that time sees him doing the miswak and make fun of him or today someone sees a miswak and makes fun of that miswak. Someone sees Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and I'm sure we all know we all know the hadith. If we read the hadith, everyone can picture Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You see Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, during his lifetime, someone sees him in imamah. Makes fun of him. That what this thing is doing on his head. Or today someone will see an imam and make fun of it. Same thing. Abillah wa ayatihi wa rasulihi kuntum tastahzi'un. Were you making fun of Allah, His ayat, and His messenger? Very dangerous. Someone is praying. You don't want to pray, that's fine. Between you and your Rabb. But don't make fun of those who are doing anything related to the deen of Allah. And today, the worst animosity everywhere, all over the world, we say, well, I don't know why there is so much fitna in the ummah, and there is so much corruption, and it's not getting better. And every Ramadan, everyone makes so much dua, and in every masjid, people cry and make dua so much, and nothing is changing. You know who are the people that are attacked the most by Muslims themselves? Are the scholars of deen. It's a well-known thing. Just like Anbiya were attacked the most during their time. Read the seerah. Who was attacked the most during the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? It was Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam himself. And same thing, ulama waratatul anbiya, they are the heirs of anbiya alayhi wa sallam, so you inherit that also. You inherit the knowledge, and you will inherit that also, that you would be attacked right and left. That's part of the inheritance. Look into Quran. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about some people and he says that when some people will be dragged to Jahannam and they will start crying to Allah asking for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy please have forgiveness we believe we do this and they will be told that innahu kana fariqum min ibadi يقولون ربنا آمنا فاغفر لنا وارحمنا وأنت خير الراحمين Look at the word فريقن فريقن means small group There was a small group of my servants who devoted their lives for my ibadah for my deen They used to say يقولون ربنا آمنا They used to say Oh Allah we believe in you فاغفر لنا وارحمنا Forgive us Have mercy on us you are the best of those who would have mercy. You started making fun of them. Quran is telling us, it's not a book of history. This is Quran. That there were people, and how many times now we hear, we hear people from within our people, which means, as I said, even those who come up on the podiums and speak, they say, you know, you see people sitting in the masjid there who have nothing better to do. They just sit there and read Quran. And the whole day they're just reading Quran and doing ibadah and doing dhikr and doing uh, dua because they have nothing else to do. Look at this ayah. Amazing. Look at this ayah. Innahu kana fariqum min ibadi. There was a small group of my servants. Who used to say, Rabbana amanna, faghfir lana, warhamna, wa anta khayrul rahimeen, fattakhaztumuhum sikhriya. You started making fun of them. Hatta ansawkum dhikri. As a result of that, what was the result of that? Quran is telling us. They'll leave anything for us to say because people will get upset if we say. Allah is saying it. He's spelling it out for us. Hatta and Saukum Dikri until they made you forget me also. Which means they forgot Allah, they stopped praying to Allah, they stopped reciting Quran for Allah, they stopped doing the ibadah of Allah, they stopped doing any service for the sake of Allah. Because they, Allah says this is a result of making fun of the people of Iman. When people are 
doing the ibadah and there are, there are others who are making fun of them, Allah says, I will deprive you of my ibadah and of mentioning my name and remembering my name. فَاتَّخَذْتُمُهُمْ سُخْرِيًّا حَتَّى أَنْسَوْكُمْ ذِكْرِي وَكُنْتُمْ مِنْهُمْ تَضْحَكُونَ You used to laugh at them. كُنْتُمْ مِنْهُمْ تَضْحَكُونَ You used to laugh at them. إِنِّي جَزَيْتُهُمُ الْيَوْمَ بِمَا صَبَرُوا As a result of their patience, they knew you are doing this. They knew what everyone is saying about them. But inni jazaytuhum al yawma bima sabaru. Today, as a result of their patience, I rewarded them annahum hum al faizun that they are the only successful ones. Annahum hum, which means out of all, when you take those who are making fun and those who are doing the ibadah and ignoring all of the, those people that are making fun of them, Allah says, out of these, annahum humul fa'izun, these are the only ones that will be successful, others will not. Because their things they used to make fun of, they are just surrounding them from every side, not letting them go away. May Allah protect us. We have to be very, very careful. Things we do, people we like, things we like, that's different. But making fun of anything, of anything, people making any effort for thee. On the other hand, we see that there are people that only have statements to make about them. This is not good. We can't afford to put ourselves in that situation. May Allah protect us. And give us tawfiq that we respect everything that is related to our deen. And we always honor, honor our deen and honor whatever is connected to our deen. Have the great honor and respect for it. Wa sallallahu ta'ala ala khayri khalqi. Sayyidina wa habibina wa nabiyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Mawla ya salli wa sallim daliman.